and welcome to another episode of In My Room, the series where I talk about the hidden aspects of teen bedroom culture. So I was recently visiting my parents for the holidays and I came up with the idea for the next subject that I was going to tackle in this series. And I'm not really sure if I have a great word to really sum it up. I think what I'm getting at is impermanence. My teenage bedroom is no longer intact. It's now an office. My sister's bedroom is now a guest bedroom. So I really started thinking about the ephemeral and sort of fleeting nature of the teen bedroom and realizing that a lot of other people probably have similar experiences with their bedrooms being turned into something else. So I went to the internet or Twitter to ask people what their teenage bedrooms were now. I'm just gonna whip out my phone here to get some quick stats on what people told me. I only polled about 60 or 70 people so obviously this doesn't speak for everyone. But I just wanted to get a general sense of what people's experiences were after moving out of their parents' house. The most common responses I got were office, other family member's bedroom, like a younger sibling, a guest bedroom, and storage. And surprisingly, the highest percentage of answers was people telling me that their childhood homes had been sold so they weren't aware of what was going on with their former bedroom. So only 13% of the people polled told me that their bedrooms were still intact, leaving us with 87% of just poof, it's gone. There is something kind of sad about it. Obviously spaces need to be functional and usable and most people can't afford to preserve this time capsule of their youth in a room. It doesn't make sense. It's not economical. It is also the most important room you will probably ever live in. What is so special about the teenage bedroom? Like, why do I always go back to that one and not the bedroom I lived in in Chicago when I was 22 or you know, the dorm I lived in my freshman year of college. Whenever I go back to my parents' house and I walk into my former bedroom, which is now an office, and there's no memory of me even really being there. It doesn't feel like a space that I used to inhabit. We're left with these vague memories of the space. If you're someone like me, I spent all of my teenage years in the same bedroom, in the same house, so I feel very connected to that particular space and it feels very jarring to come back to that space and not really recognize it. My goal with this video was simply to commemorate everyone's lost teenage bedroom. So I asked people to send me images of their old bedrooms and I'm gonna share them with you here. I hope you enjoy. Maybe this makes you want to dig up some old photos or look through some old diaries or whatever it is that was living in your teenage bedroom that reminds you of that time. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.